All right. I think we're uh, just about ready here. Hello, Sonia. Well, I want to show you guys something. As you know, this is um, covered bridge painting. We're, we're going to finish off the bridge today. We'll finish off the whole painting today right into a little bit of a snag. Um, if you look up above here, this is what happens when you use more glycerin and not enough paint. Okay, it starts to run. Happens to the best of us. All right. Um, something pretty interesting when the glycerin doesn't touch nothing, when, there's, when the glycerin stops, as you can see, it, it goes nowhere else. I'll zoom up and you guys can see this a little closely. But when you use too much glycerin and not enough paint, and if it's pretty warm in your studio, it will start to run like that. It's not the end of the world, it's okay. All right, so I'm kind of glad it happened because it shows you, it can give you the good example of what you can do if you run across something like this. All right, okay. So we'll do some correcting and some adjusting with what's going on here. All right. So we did the sky in a basic uh, black and white for cloud pattern and whatnot. Um, we'll uh, maybe continue with that theme, maybe, but now I have another idea in mind. It's going to take a little bit of adjusting <coughs> and correcting, but that's all right. That's what I'm here for. Okay, so essentially I was going to finish off the painting but we got this issue to take care of here. And so we're gonna take care of that. But I already see something else in mind for what's happened, okay? All right, so how do we correct something like that? Well, the glycerin is still on there. It's still, as you can see, pretty runny. And um, we're going to just adapt Hello, Eva's Journey. Welcome. Good to see you. I see Jessica's in. Hello. Welcome to the gang, Eva. Enjoy yourself. Uh, if you got questions, ask them. Got comments and statements, ask them. Okay. If I if I'm not able to answer, I'm pretty sure somebody in the room, if they if they come in, will be able to answer it for you. All right. Okay. I did want to have a grayed out sky. It will continue to be um, still in that vein. All right, but we're going to do something a little, a little different here uh, with this because of the image that I see. All right, but let's go down here to the uh, lower right. And let's discuss what we have here on the palette. Okay. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is Prussian blue, yellow ochre, cad red. Oh, I think this is a uh, sap green and then titanium white. Originally, these colors were the colors for the cabin until I noticed what's going on here. So once again, we have to do a wee bit of an adjustment. Okay, so I guess I'll turn out a little bit of lamp black. Looks like the color palette will grow a little bit. But that's okay. That's all right. Once again, you just accept, adapt, and you move on. All right. All right. Now, in the adjustment process, of course, we have to adjust the uh, the shrubs a little bit, the trees, as we do this. Okay. All righty. So let's get on to it, shall we? Um, I think I'm gonna take. Um, we'll take this brush. This is a large number 12. It's actually a, a flat brush, but it's been beat down over the years and whatnot. But she's still pretty handy. Still does the job. Okay. All right. So let's, uh, let's play. Since we got all this working and going on, we're just going to, um, kind of do something a little special with this. So I'm just gonna take it, 
All right, I kind of like what's going on here, so we'll work with that. Okay, so let's uh, let's do something. Let's just take this, and we're gonna do a little bit of that. I'll just keep adjusting it. When you get handed lemonade, you make lemon. Or you make, when you get handed lemons, you make lemonade, rather. I'm just adjusting. At this point in time, it doesn't matter. The most important thing is really just adjusting the uh, adjusting the cloud here. We're gonna make it something a little more threatening there. All right. Okay. Once again, don't worry about this stuff because it just with all the glycerin, it just wears away. As you can see, you can make it disappear. All right. So don't worry about that. All this stuff up here on the bottom, lift it up. All right. And we can just get rid of it. And basically, it's a dry brush, so I'm just lifting the glycerin, moving it away. And then we can kind of flatten that out. Don't worry about all that. We'll do something with this a little bit later. There. All right. Okay. All right. Let's continue on with the joy here. Once again, I know I'm painting into the trees, and it's it's okay. The trees are is not the main worry right now. All right. Okay. Let's just take a wee bit of lamp black. This is where your light and shade kind of comes into play here. All right. All right. We'll do it right around here. We'll just kind of pop a line in there like this. I know I'm going into the roof, but that's okay. Keep that rounded look on this fella. I'll keep adjusting it till I get it right. It has to be more of an up angle. Like that. I'm wiping, I got a large beach towel on my lap. So if you hear the sound of me rubbing, it's just rubbing the extra paint off the brush, okay? And lightly, very lightly, we'll just kind of smooth some of that out a little bit. I do have a softer brush, and we'll get we'll get to it. We'll get to it. It's, it's kind of what I'm looking for anyway. Once again, we'll just lighten that stuff up. Okay. We're going to get into a little bit of, a tiny bit of titanium white. Just a tiny bit. It'll gray itself out.
Okay. Now, Sonya, you know that your tacos are on Thursday, so you're a few you're a few days behind the times. We know you might be a little confused. You must have lost a board game in the gym or something. So we will forgive you. We'll forgive you. Okay, let's take a now I would like personally a filbert to do what I'm about to do next, but it's okay. Okay. So funnel cloud, obviously. Okay. Alright. We'll work on the funnel cloud a little bit a little bit later. Let's do the things up here. We're gonna go with a little bit of a little bit of touch of lamp black now we're just gonna use nothing but paint right now because obviously this is filled with glycerin okay and we'll just kind of pop in some joy all up in there we'll shape up things as we go along here. Come down in here a little bit. Get a little touch of white, a little corner of white and we'll kind of Once again, we'll start moving things around. Now I'm just using a corner of white because it's going to just naturally obviously fill in and blend as we're doing all of this. I'll clean off the brush real quick. Hello Treasure Trails, how are you? We came into a little, sna um, little snafu. My bad, I dipped into the black. I meant to dip into the white here. We ran into a little snafu and I'm just correcting it. So, our gentle skies have now been transformed into something else totally. Alright. Okay. Let's see, I'm just drying off the brush real fast here. <coughs> Let's take a smaller... We'll start kind of twirl that stuff around a little bit. Get those swirls going. As I'm getting the swirls and everything happening here, we're going to lighten some of that stuff up too. We'll get it straight. All right. We'll get it straight. Let's go into a little bit of white. Bring some of that down there. touch of black. Pop some of that in there. Alright. Clean off the brush real fast. Clean this brush off really well. And now we just gently, very gently, we'll start to smooth things out a little bit. Not necessarily taking away the intensity, but just to get the cloud play going here.
Once again, I don't want to take the intensity of the white away, but we can kind of blur it. Wipe off the brush. Once again, I tend to have brushes that you guys don't don't have, but you can definitely get them or order them. The uh, the brushes you see me messing with right now are just makeup brushes I get right from Walmart. Okay, let's borrow some of this white for a second. Let me borrow some out here and just put it out here a little bit. Yeah. Right out here. We're just going to lighten this area up a little bit. Once again, we're thinking about contrast. The white is being contaminated by the black that's already on here. And I'm just going to... Once again, you need contrast to show off that dark edge of the tornado. Okay. I'm just smoothing out some things here. Smooth it right out. Kill some of those little stray lines there. Not all of them, but just a few. Kinda settle them down a little bit. All right. Okay. Let's take um. What do you, and we'll take we'll take you. A little touch of black. It just, just adds a little bit of depth until this uh, approaching harbinger of death here. I'm just going in circles to spread out the paint a little bit. Then once again, keep trailing it. All right. It's just a series of building things up. All right. Even with a monster like this, there's a light and a dark side to this guy. Don't worry about all of that. One, a lot of what you see here can just be wiped away. Just wipe it away. You still see the trees there. Just wipe it away. Bruce, 
What's going on, boss? We had a little mishap, so I just have to correct the mishap. That's all. All right, but she's pretty much in there. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of this white. Once again, it will be contaminated by the, because we're just getting, once again, think about contrast here. This is gonna be contaminated by the, the grayish color that's already in there. And you just keep, keep rubbing away. Once again, you gotta think of, about contrast here. Now, once again, you gotta remember that water, as you can see, will remove this stuff like a hot knife through butter. So keep that in mind. So it's just a few corrections here and there. I'm just scrubbing away some of the extra stuff and we'll replace it, don't worry. Because we have to make sure the trees are ahead of the doomsday device over here. All right. Um, don't worry about the about the um, the roof here. Like I said, we were originally were supposed to take care of, of the of the, the cabin itself. But obviously it leaked it ran and we just have to take care of things accordingly that's all once again water will get rid of this stuff it cuts it right away so if you tend to find yourself in a little bit of a jam this is how to get rid of it if you use glycerin all right okay all right something like that of course i can use more water and just get rid of this stuff in here but it really doesn't matter this was the problem child up here all right this was the issue okay i'll take a little corner of black just a little corner and we'll kind of come up in here and we'll kind of play around and fade out some some things in here and make little little cloud things just like that just make it happen a little bit and we'll wisp some of that away smooth it out once again it's more or less to outline that fella a little bit better all right, and we'll smooth out those those edges a little bit there. I'll take this brush and we'll just once again just smooth it out gently in circles. Blend some stuff in there. Move it out just like that. All right. Just get a little activity rolling in there. I'll press a little bit in there. Get that roll in there. All right. Okay. We'll leave it alone. All right. Let's um, bring these trees back out to the forefront again. I'll take, um, at this stage, I guess I'll take one of these smaller brush then we'll just pop those trees back in um i'll get a little bit of black here and i'll pouncing the the um the paint into the bristles get that interesting little pattern happening there just like that and you see it brings things back in front of mr tornado there and basically, it's just bringing the uh, the 
tree back into the front again. You follow me? All right, let's pounce a little bit more. Paint into the brush. I'm using the corner and slight little taps. Why am I using black? Well, whatever color I tend to put in front of this guy. Yeah, let's put some love in front of that funnel. Just like that, okay. Right in here, pop something there. All right, just like that. Yeah, we got a little bit of action in here too. Just like that. It, you gotta pop it in front of the tornado. It brings the tornado back. So, you know, if there's a little horse and buggy, he got a few seconds to live. All right. Oh yeah, Bruce. Nothing lasts forever. That bridge is toast. <coughs> All right, let's take a little um, sap green here. Same concept. We're gonna just pounce a little bit of sap green there. Maybe, maybe um, a slight touch of white and some ochre. We're gonna put it in like that. All right. Okay. Same concept. We're just gonna kind of pop some love in there just like that um, we'll bring a few of them in there maybe in here in that area like that okay I don't want to totally destroy all of the dark I like it uh, so bring some more love in this area here Just a, a few bits in there, all right? We'll, we'll lighten this up a little bit. And pop in a few bits in there. Come out here, light it up a little, all right? Okay, that's not bad, that's pretty cool. Kinda come on the outside here. Let's give it a little bit of glow up here. All right, okay. Now we can pretty much leave all of that alone. We've got a little action happening up there. All right, once again, um, painting a tornado isn't really too tough. It's trying to get your get your clouds going, get, it, get the swirl going in there pretty decent. All right. Um, but we know the direction, we know the dark in the lid half um, of it. And you know, it's kind of doing its thing back there. Okay, all right. I got a few things to do. I got some running around to do today. And so I um, might as well get this done um, right now. The, um, the, uh, cabin itself will probably be a lot of glaze we're, we're gonna have a little fun with the cabin here okay but what I've shown um, earlier for those who are who just popped on is that the glycerin it was too much glycerin and not enough paint and so with the heat being here in the room it just ran all over the place <coughs> okay it ran all down in here but it stopped right here because there's no glycerin there's nothing to carry it so it kind of pooled right here around the edge all right, and that was it. Okay, all right. So before we glaze this, all right, um, we're gonna use a little bit of water and some some mixed paint so we can get these get the shadow of what we got going on in here. So when I do glaze, if I decide to glaze all of it, the shadow color will still be in there, but it won't move because we're using water instead of glycerin. If you use glycerin, okay, um, the shade and shadow what's going to happen is that it's going to get wiped away okay and blended over if you use water and paint it's just going to stain and stay put all right okay all right so let's get some uh get some shadow work going let's take a, a smaller brush for this part 
Oh, I'll take this guy. He kind of beat down. Actually, let's take one a little bit more of a finer point. Real thin brush I'll show to you here. Real thin guy. Yeah, I'll put it against the black here. You see how thin it is. Little, little small fella. All right. So let's get some colors, um, nice little shadow color. We'll dip a little bit of blue in there. All right, this is just Prussian blue here. All right, and maybe a slight touch of, of black in there makes it together. And we're gonna use water. All right, it's gonna just create a nice little stain. And once it's applied, once again, it's not gonna go anywhere if you put glycerin or whatever on on top of it it'll get probably darker but it won't it won't move away it won't stain it dries instantly all right we're going to come in here and we're just going to all this little area in here we're just gonna create a nice little deep shadow in there now as you can see it's got that blue in it that's okay let it have the blue. Because remember, you're going to glaze over that. That blue's going to get darker. All right. But it won't be the same color of whatever you put around it. And I'm using water to um, mix into the paint just for it to. It's going to stain, but it won't be removed. Once it's dry, it's on there. It's not going anywhere. All right. So it's just water and paint. Now doing a bridge and doing things like this, it can be a little time consuming, all right? Yes, but you will love the effect when finished. You know, I, sometimes I get little emails and um, messages asking how I did such and such and how do you do it and whatnot, so instead of trying to really explain it in words i'll show you how it's done and you know for some people if they got this type of patience you know go go for it i gotta be careful because all of that water down there is still a little tacky even though I, this board has been sitting here for a few days but someone did ask me about how long does it take to glisten and dry it really depends on the temperature of your room and how much glycerin did you apply? I just dipped into a little more water to get the paint to flow. That's all. And I'm not really concerned about how blue it is. I mean, it's got black mixed in it, but I'm not concerned about that because this is all shadow. And it's a good play on mixing different darks together to get what you're looking for. All right. Okay. No, I went above the line there. That's okay. You got a short window to correct that. All right. You just take the paint off your brush. And keep a little bit of water on the brush. And you can just get rid of it. Like that. No big deal. If this was an architectural drawing and um, for a client or somebody, yeah. I'll probably get, it, get rid of it a lot better than that. But since it's not, it is a tutorial. I'll show you how to get things done, how to correct stuff. All right, pretty much like that, okay? All right, the inside of the, the inside area here, let me show you something here. Uh, I'll take a little bit of ochre. We'll put it right in here. Um, pop a little green in that ochre. Okay, let's get some more ochre there. So we've got yellow ochre and a little bit of green here. Now, let's go the opposite way. Pop some red in there. And what's gonna happen is that it's gonna cancel each other out. All right. There, now we've got this nice wood color going on here. See that? What I did was took yellow ochre, green, a little touch of red, and see, now Jessica, if you added white to this color, it would look like that piece of wood you were curious about painting for the color. 
All right, all you do is add white to that and it will do the trick for you. All right, okay, mix just with, I don't think I added water, it's just regular paint. All right, and now I'm going to color this in. Why am I doing this? Well, a little bit of believability in the in the um, in the painting. Okay, I will watch where my hand is. That's what I'm gonna do. And put it in there. I'm taking a little more time with this painting than I usually do a little more detail a little more um refined than what i usually would do but it all depends on what look you're looking for what do you want to do how do you want to do it okay a lot of what i got my hand on was done with just paint no glycerin so it's perfectly dry so i'm all right doing what i'm doing right now now, once again, if you go over the lines, and you're more than likely will, take a little bit of water, because you got a short window. Don't worry about that. You just wipe it away. And it does wipe away, see? Wipe it away. It goes bye-bye. Don't worry about it. The more water you add, whoops, the more water you add, the more it goes away. Okay. Let's take some of this lighter. I'm gonna take some of this lighter color because once we add colors into this area, it's going to get darker. So we'll just take some of the lighter color. I'll get a little bit of water. And what I'm doing really is just painting through the windows, the green that you would see on the other side. And that's all I'm doing. So let me find a place to set on my hand here and just add a little bit of this green in the windows there. If you a little nervous about using a brush like that, you want to use a smaller brush, then use a smaller brush. Use what's comfortable for you. All right. So sometimes you have to think ahead. All right. Now, since there's going to be a lot of shadow in this barn, why use dark green? Okay. You don't want anything close to black yet. All right. Use a lighter green, and when you put the other colors on top of this lighter green, then it will get the appropriate color. Now you're talking about color values now. Okay, so once again, just kind of have to think ahead when you do things like this. It doesn't have to be co uh, perfectly colored in. Come once again, the shadow will take care of that. All right, put something like that in there. You just let it dry a little bit. This is already dry. This is why I use water dry give that a few minutes it will be dry okay since I got this tiny thin brush and we're already around in this area let's take this color with get a, dip a little more water in it whenever you want to darken something a little bit you add a small and I mean a small touch of black it, it will deepen this color of course that's not black that's blue I just made it green my bad but that's okay. No, I just made it, I just made it green. So since I made it green, you use the color opposite. The color opposite kills that. Here, I'll show you right here. All right, since I made it green, we'll use red, it'll, it'll kill some of that green again, like that. Okay, there we go. Now it's just a darker version of what we had for the inside. I kind of like that I might get away with using this. I think I'm going to, I like it. All right, um, me being a lefty, gotta kind of do things a little, little careful here. Okay, just for this part here, we'll darken this wood right up around in here. Hopefully I have enough, we'll see. I have to be careful because underneath the bridge, I believe I used glycerin there and it's still 
pretty tacky. Once again, I am taking a little more care and concern doing this painting. This is a little more intricate than the others. All right. I'm not saying that the others are, are less of value or whatever, but in doing tutorials, and mines tend to run a little long, people will most likely jump ahead. All depends on you know how interested they are in a, in a subject and what they want to learn, which is natural. It's all right. It's okay. You know, everybody's not interested in the same thing, and you, you know you gotta kind of realize that I am in a very difficult position here. Let me just kind of get this going. And with a painting that's a little more architecturally sound, you will have to you just take that much more care in doing them. Hey, Travel Dreamer, how are you? It's good to see you. RV DJ says she forgot what warm was. Oh, give it three months, it'll come back. Unfortunately, like I said, you guys in the southeast and down south are getting what we're supposed to have. And this is a very, very unusual weather pattern that's going on. Now, once again, I'm using paint and water because I want this to stain. I know I went over the border there, and that's fine. That's okay. Once again, I got a little window to clean that up. I'm at a weird position here. And I will clean it up. I'll do it right now. Cause once again, you got a short window to clean this. I need you to see it comes right off. All right. All right, let's go back into the original color. Now by the time I'm done messing around with this, the interior of the shadow part of this will be finished. Originally, this was supposed to be the last part, but you know, once again, the clouds kind of decided to go off on their own. I guess I didn't do it good enough, so it decided to tell me, do it this way. And sometimes you know it happens. Now, many of you might look at this and say, oh no, this is a little too much. And it's okay. Maybe doing something like this might be a little much for you. For right now. Sometimes you just have to grow into it, okay? So it's fine. I'm just tightening up some things. Yes, I'm taking the brown. I'm going into the black a little bit. It's just to kind of color it in a little bit. All right. Okay. All right. And that's all, really. All right. So we've taken care of that part. All right. Let's take a little more. Let's take a thicker brush. I got one here. And while I'm thinking about it, it's strongly on my mind here. We're once again, we'll take a little bit of blue. We'll put it right here, it's okay. I got water on the brush, a little bit of blue, a little touch of black, a very little touch of black. All right. Let's go back into our blue a little bit more. So more blue black and some water. Put some water in it like that. I'm gonna rinse off my brush. All right. All right, let's take this brush. I just rinsed it off. I'm gonna take some water, this is just water. I'm gonna go underneath this awning part. As you can see, you can see the, the stain, all right? The blue water stain there, it's okay. 
The water is only going to travel as far as you let it. So I'll just keep it like that right now. Still wet. Let's take some of this blue black. Okay. And we're going to come under here. Just like that. We'll take some more water. Then once again, the water is only going to go as far as you let it. I'm not going to let it go past that window. And it's not going to. It's just going to run and run and run right till it gets to the edge of that window so it'll naturally run. It's a little watercolor trick thing. I'm doing and just let it naturally run it's just gonna come on down and stop where you want it to stop all right don't necessarily have to have it any darker than that because one thing glazes over it once it dries it just gets darker so you got instant shadow for the overhanging lip there all right no fuss no muss all right let's take this blue black again And we'll stain this. I'm going to wipe off my brush. Take some off. Only thing I want to do is stain it. That's all. Just stain it, okay? Give it a different color up here. Even when you're staining, you gotta think of terms of, of light and where it's hitting. All right, a little bit darker there. This is stained that is not, um, or that's just been rubbed off. That has not, just let it dry. All right, okay. Let's move right along here. our three-quarter inch brush um, I thought about using glycerin in here but I'm, I think not let's go with a little bit of yellow ochre for one second a little touch of red in the yellow ochre like this okay a slight touch of green in it brown it up a little there we go stir it in there a little bit of water loosen up that paint okay all right okay yeah there's a floor in here remember like I said this painting might not be for everybody as far as painting it because it takes a little time it's okay. I understand. I do. I do understand. And it is. It is. It takes a little time. Okay. Well, Passion, if I run over that time, you go to your channel and go for what you know. It's all right. You guys aren't hurting my feelings. You guys are not offending me. Okay. Listen, over the years, you know, there's, you know, a bunch of people who have learned from me or learned from others and, um, you know, you got your own channels, you want to do your own thing. And sometimes we just end up running into each other. All right. That's understandable. It's all right. It's no big deal. You know, do like I do when there's like two people I listen to, I got, you know, more than one device and believe it or not I look at both of them sometimes I have Diana on the TV or Bruce will be on the TV and Diana will be on the phone and yeah I multitask I listen to and respond to both sometimes Kathy Corner be on I'll listen to her it's tough it is so don't worry about it yeah it takes practice and it does take patience and it is a technique. You're correct on all fronts. Exactly. 
let's take let's do this again since I'm having a little fun all right this little corner up here right here in the wood area I'm just gonna just nothing but water okay so we'll do that watercolor trick again right up in here and you know let it soak it a little bit okay I'll take a little touch of black we'll just put the black right in here take a little bit of blue once again big old giant shadow, shadow color there okay all right and I'll just pop it a little bit in there like this really put it in there really good just put it in there just like that I'm gonna just take a little bit more water go just underneath that little paint thing I've done and just let it run it'll just soak down and do it naturally by itself okay and you have it run as far as you want I just take a little dry brush and just do that and just let it sit there you're good really let it sit there and do its thing okay we got that little lip under here now once again I'm using water this is that blue black again water and uh water and paint that's all I'm doing water and paint Just let it let it run I need it a little bit darker though I can add a touch of black to it I guess you still think about a little bit of light and shade and just because I added black doesn't mean it's gonna totally turn black it will not it's gonna spread and have a little conversation with that blue Okay. and just leave it be you'll be fine as you see that's starting to spread a little bit there I don't want to destroy all that wood grain so we'll leave it like that and plus once again we'll be glazing a lot of this okay let's do some clever little things here let's take a little touch of green it's a small touch no water or anything we're just going to stain this wood a little bit so we'll come over here on this side all right uh Let's pull in a little bit. We'll be pretty much concentrating on this guy. Let's go up above my camera and we'll put it right here. I think I can expand it a little bit more. We'll keep playing with the size there. Uh, let's see. If we put it in like that and we draw back out. Oh, that's it. Okay, we'll come up and we'll put her. Right about there we're good here all right i'll hit the focus real quick here just put her in there all right we take we got a little green here uh let's put it let's put it out here let's kind of stain it like this this like that we'll you know kind of play around with it a little bit up in here all up in this shadow area right up in here play around a little bit like that and kind of I kind of mess around with it a little bit let's take some ochre okay throw some ochre in there come up here pop it in there like that um we're just staining staining it a little bit all right that's all i'm gonna take a little bit of water and we'll kind of smooth some of that out a little like so let's take a little bit of and I mean a little bit of red you don't need too much a little bit of red and we'll kind of pop some here come up around in here go up in there a little bit too like that okay and once again we'll just kind of just borrow some put it up there a little bit don't color everything in rub it around a little bit like that and once again we're just staining it all right essentially 
Okay. I know I took off some of my blue black. It's all right. This technique you can use with um, you know, you can use it with animals if you want. Up to you. There. Bring that back. Okay. Once again, we're just staining it and all of that. Let's take some uh, more blue, put it right here. A little touch of black in that blue. Let's get plenty of water and we'll put the water right here. And now we got this nice, see that? I'm taking it off my brush now. Clean off my brush because we got this to mess with in here. So we just take it totally off the brush would deal with the paint that's already on here all right so we got this blue black thing going it has water in it and we'll just pop in that shadow remember i told you we're painting over that paint over all of that it, sh it should be dry and we're good to do what we're doing now and because it has water in it okay it uh kind of it's gravity taking place so everything's going to run downward anyway so you overlap a little bit if you're worried about streaks don't worry it's not going to happen bring it right to its edge there and you got a natural little shadow going on there all right i wanted a little darker and a little more black a little blue but keep it Keep a little water in there. Now, right now, it's a little less water. still watery, but not as much. I want it a little darker. And we're going to do it again. Remember, it's still wet under there. It's still wet. I'll turn my brush around. And keep going right to its edge. I just want it a little darker. We got odd shapes going on over here. Actually, I don't know why I just did that. It should have been here there right from here go straight across like that I like that a little bit better all right I'll let it dry and see if I want it even darker but mm, it mm, well We'll see. We'll just leave it like that for right now. All right. Yep. You got the right idea. Just drop the links in there. It's okay. Okay. Let's go with, um, let's go with, let's try green. Let's try red. We just got a weather alert. Green and red are um, are opposites. Now we got that nice wood brown color. Okay, I will. Well, I already dipped it in water. Oops, I didn't want to dip it in water, but I just did. Once again, oops. I meant to dip it in the glycerin. So now I got glycerin on here. Now what's going to happen with this glycerin? Okay, one, it makes paint transparent. Um, the more, let me think about what I just did here. Okay, hold on for a second. Okay, there. All right, we have glycerin. We've got more paint than glycerin now, but we do have, it, it is a mix. Glycerin prolongs the drying time of the paint. It makes a great glaze. Okay, um, it does take a little while for it to dry. But it's just because of all the blending and whatever you're going to be doing. All right. Okay. We're going to glaze right over this whole half, this whole side here. All right. You start from the top if you would like. And here we go. Glaze it. Put it right in there. Don't show any fear. Don't be scared. Put it in there. All right. All the other colors are going to sh they're they're going to show through. Put 
put it right in there. See, put it right in there. If you don't like something, you can you can actually wipe it away. If you know that's what you want to do, I wouldn't keep that interesting character uh, characteristics going in there. If you go past the um, let's say if you go past the line, you go out there somewhere like that. That's what your fingers for. Just wipe it away. It goes away. See? Hashtag. Don't panic. Go right to his edge. All right. And those colors are in there. Once it dries, you'll see. Those colors are in there. Work them in. Work them in. Work them in there. <clears throat> we get a little touch of black only on the corner and we're going to darken this area here it's underneath everything all right let's get a little bit more blue up under here it's a little darker not dark enough no I got glycerin on my brush so it's not going to be entirely uh, covered under covered over there we go that's a little better you just wipe a little bit of it away you just, once it dries, you'll still see wood grain there. You still see that there's wood under there. It's still there. It is still there. Don't worry about it. Little shadows under there. Just like so. All right. As you can see, um, you still see your colors. You still see that dark underneath there. Everything's still there with it. All right. Remember, this is the lit side. Okay. The darker side is over here. All right. Okay. Let's, um, okay. We already got it here. Right here. Okay. We still have the glycerin in there. We're going to take a little touch of black. Just like that. Mix it in there. Get some glycerin. Make it a little transparent. Loosen it up a little. All right. I'm looking at it. I'm, I'm got the feel going on here for it. Now, if I have to add a little more glycerin, it feels like I I do. I add a little bit more, loosen it up a little bit. There you go. Yeah, that's cool. This should work for the darker half. All right. Well, we're about to find out now. Look at what I'm about to do. Remember this shadow part. Remember this, right? You can put. Now this is stained because it has water. So I can just go right across everything. All right. Oh, let's just try from here. Let's go from here. I'm hoping I have enough. We'll find out. I should have enough to cover everything in a perfect world. Go right across, see the shadow here? See that? Go right across, put it right in there. All right. Remember, you, you've you stained your previous color, so it's not going anywhere. That glycerin is not going to move it. It's not going to budge it. It's not going anywhere. All right. It's just how you build up all sorts of interesting little colors and hues and all sorts of fun stuff going on there. I get a lot of notifications. I know I'm covering over my um, awning part there. Uh, this little little part, that's all right. The water will, um, will remove that. 
All depends on what color I choose to use for that part. Don't know yet. Now, this is why I added all the other colors in it. Because see, you can see the other colors going on there. And people will be asking you, how on earth did you do that? And they will be asking, they will ask. No doubt, they will ask you, how did you do this? So this is our trade secret. Shh, don't tell nobody. It's our trade secret. Rubbing color like this is omnidirectional. You can go in whatever color you, uh, whatever direction you want. Glycerin dries, it spreads apart when it dries, so it's an instant blend. Okay, I'm just cleaning off my brush here. All right, and we'll kind of clean that up a little bit. Just get rid of some of that. Go over here, we just kind of get rid of some of that too. We just get rid of it. I don't know what color I'm going to add for that part. Who knows? But all right. Anyway. Okay. Now you just added more shadow, more depth into that. All right. There. Even that out a little bit better. All right. So you've added your your shadow into this okay all right we got mr. roof here um, we got this edge here to pretty much deal with all right now this um this play I like the brown here uh, let's see if I can dig some more of this hue up here I think I might have enough to do what I want to do with it so we'll use the brown Brown's interesting shadow uh, color Let's go over here. Now let's go all in here and we'll kind of rub some of that into the dark area. Pop some of that in here a little bit. Just rub it in there a little. Get you some interesting little shades going. I don't have enough, of, obviously. So get some more green. Get some more brown or green, green and red. Mix it together like this. Just mix it. All right. I'm going to get it tinge of blue in there that's not dark that's not enough and we're just going to deepen it a little bit now the colors that are involved in this has green in it get some glycerin pop it in there loosen up that paint just like this instant glaze here so your color of brown which has green in it just interacts with what you already have in here and it looks more natural all right and you can just kind of play around in the shadows just kind of have a little fun and you know with this you can just kind of rub it in there you can do this with um the paper um the um watercolor paper you can do the same thing okay and we're just having a little fun adding all these different flavors of colors in your in your groundwork here all right i know you guys don't see that let me move it around stuff like that what you see me doing in here Okay, maybe even here. And you're just adding a lot more depth into your work, doing stuff like that. Once again, people are gonna wonder how you even did that. And it's just me glazing and having a little fun. Let's go on the other side, over here. Over here, all right, maybe you want it a little deeper. We'll get a little more glycerin here. Now, this is thinly applied glycerin. It will dry. Okay, don't worry about that. And we'll come in here and we'll just brown it up a little bit. And it keeps this side a little bit more in shadow. Like so. Alright. This is your choice if you want to approach it this way. Just kind of deepen the color of those rocks under there. Like that. So you can play around. See? You can color your rocks a little bit. That looks a nice, interesting color. I like that look. So let's add that in there. I like the look of the, of the rock. I like the color with that little glaze of brown in there. I think it looks pretty neat. See? 
and it kind of matches the the uh, surrounding area a little more you don't have to not really you don't have to add none of this at all if that's not what you're feeling guess what don't do it all right thank you uh, uh jessica nope no streaking no especially of, of a certain age bruce yeah streaking should be illegal but we'll leave that alone all right let's move back up here we're like 98 percent finished with this guy we're getting there we're, we're definitely getting there okay i don't know if i really want this to be the red roof in um you guys decide for me what do you want me to do with that what do you want me to do with it so i don't want just one or two people i know there's a few in here so don't leave me hanging all right And as I'm waiting for you guys to respond a little, um, let's add some poles out here. I'm just taking the same brush, taking a little bit of black. So while you guys are deciding, we're going to add a pole or two. Let's move it over here so you guys can see exactly what's going on. I'll put the pole right here like this and just about in the grass make it about as straight as you can all right and once again what i'm doing is really adding to the to the depth of the painting it it assists with the perspective okay i space them a little bit more they get a little larger after they get towards the edge of the page there all right um i could put one there but it's all right <laughs> it's little things like that that, that kind of helps sell your painting a little bit believe it or not put one here put one here and we'll kind of get away with one right here all right like that all right all right We got green metal, we got red. Or grayish shingle type. Interesting patterns. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, let's clean this off. Uh, we'll put this guy right here. We'll get this little tissue. I made a little bit of a water mess. Just like that. Okay. All right. So you guys are making the choices um, for me here. Which is cool. I appreciate it. I really do. Get a little bit of white here. And we'll just do a quick swipe across. Mmm.
Minuten. Once again, it just all adds to the realism and all that fun stuff. All right, let's pull back a little bit. We'll pop it in focus here. We'll bring that a little bit above. Okay. All right. All right, let's, let's mess with this guy here. This ought to be different. Sinzo, hello, how are you? How you been doing, man? It's been a little while. Hope everything's okay.
we're gonna let that dry. Let it dry, let it dry, let it dry. Hope my head's not in the way. Can't tell. No, it's not in the way. It's visible, but it's not in the way. If it wasn't for that cloud mishap, this painting would have been done already. But, oh well, you know, it, it is what it is. I think I've explained to you, I think I explained it earlier in another video that I use a thin marker. So when it comes down to it, the actual painting is there. You're not really gonna pay attention and or see the uh, black marker work really, except for you know what you're looking at there, okay. I think it's cyber ESP. Let's, let's stick to the conspiracy theory. Yep, like I say, Jessica, if you got if it's getting close and you gotta get yourself set up and ready, go for it. Like I say, I got I got some I got a couple places to go. guide to let you know there's a little something under there um what else what else what else i know some of you popped in so you don't you don't see the total picture yet this is one of these paintings once again this is actually on canvas 16 by 20 and you really don't see a lot of you that popped in really don't see what's going on with it um, but you will in a few seconds. As I'm waiting for that to tack up and dry a tad, let's just take a little bit of green. Um, we'll put it right here in this gray. We'll get a little touch of white. We'll brighten it up a little bit here. But it's more a sap green. And water. No glycerin, just water. A little more white. We'll brighten it up a little bit. And we'll put some more long grasses in there. Just because uh, I want to wait a few to... <coughs> Tighten that up, and we just come in here and we just add a little fun. See, just kind of add some things in there. All right, gotta water it up a little more, and then we'll go back to the rough. some down here can you guys see this yes you can all right well thank you Bruce I know you if you take on your son back to work I know you were up way early so I can understand and once again it's just me building up and doing things here okay adding little bits of whatever to it. I gotta dig into this white paint a little bit more, brighten it up. You'd be surprised how much white you would need to do this. And a little thicker paint on the on the uh, 
the brush because it's got a battle with that glycerin I previously put down. Okay. Pop some in the toward the water there. Get some smaller ones up in here a little bit. Pop in a couple. Play around. Have some fun. Up here by the uh by the poles. Crop some up in there like this. All right. Don't be afraid to pop them in there, go in different directions. Have, once again, just have a little fun with it. Oh, we'll get some popping up in here. Go the other direction. Uh, we'll get some light things somewhere up by these rocks here, like that. Put some kind of shiny, glowy things in there like this. Come up in here, put some a little couple of them in the water. Pop some up around here. Yeah, I got some tall ones sticking out of the rocks there, like that. Come on over here. All right. Um, yeah, Travel Dreamer, you make it brighter than you really comfortably want it to. Acrylic paint dries by evaporation, so the colors dry flat, i.e. they will appear to be darker than when you put them on. All right. Um, you just make your paint brighter than what you really intend. And as it dries, it will get a little more truer to the color that you're talking about. All right, so it's, it's more or less knowing what the heck these things will do when it dries. Watercolor is in the opposite. Watercolor is is you're dealing with um, with watercolor. You're dealing with the white of the paper. So watercolor also dries through evaporation, but it's a different type of paint, and because it's so thin and so um, transparent you're wrestling with the white of the paper so it will appear to dry lighter than what you put the put it on so you actually would have to use darker watercolor paint for it to be the truer color that you you're you're you're, you're aiming for if that makes any type of sense okay um oil paint is different oil paint will dry in the way it was made all right oil paint very vibrant it, it will stay vibrant so whatever color you choose that's the color you're going to get hands down okay undoubtedly okay let's use some of that green um let's take our three-quarter brush and let's go with a little bit of a little bit of red, we'll mix that red in there like that. <coughs> Get a little bit of grayish in there. I gotta be careful with this mix I don't want to really add white in it because if you add white, it leaves a chalky kind of a residue thing happening. Let's get some glycerin in there. We'll loosen it up like this. Let's clean this up off my brush. here 
I have to be careful because I cannot see it when I go across. My own arm is blocking, uh, blocking me, so. so I kind of knew that was going to happen, but that's all right. Now with glycerin, once again, I can go past the line there because I can just wipe it away. I just need it to be darker right toward the end there. But we'll do something here. I knew some of that would some of the some of that work would, would wipe away because it, it just takes a while for it to do it. But we'll do something else. Once again, it will not, um, like I said, a lot of it was going on. You see, it's just a glister moving around like that. And it's all good. It's all right. Let it do it. Let it do it. Let it do it. Let it do it. We'll skin. We've got another way to skin the cat. We got another way to skin the cat. Let's try this. Oh. larger up front. Green rubbed in there. Couldn't help that. But I can get rid of it. Especially when I'm so close to being done here.
I know Jessica should be going on in about 26 minutes or so. I'll listen to you in the car, but like I said, I got I got some running around I gotta do. Take a um, let's put this back. Let's take a uh, we'll take this little tiny flat brush, it's all right. Get plenty of water. Let's take some of this dark paint here, just with the water. It's all right. sorts of fun to this but I have it come on down to hit a little, little bit there like that add all of that add it put it in there put it in there all right well oh no 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 wait a minute wait a minute hold on wait a minute Let's play some more. Hold on. Let's go down here. Hold on now. Hold on. Hold on. Let's add a little, little love, a little action and attention here. I just want a little more action in my water. That's all. that water flow along and do its thing 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 just a little more a little more love a little more attention in the water that's all not much under the bridge but you know we got some things going on in that water let that water move around there all right okay all right let's uh let's make this disappear out here this is just grow a little bit this or let's pull this out a little bit a little bit bring it downward you guys see what's going on there for those who popped in a little bit late this is what's been happening okay got a nice little ef4 tornado happening back there okay so all that love and attention we put on this on this um painting is just going to get destroyed the bridge will go bye bye okay let's kind of tighten it up oh well, there you go all right um no tape to peel across or anything this is it this is actually on canvas um um 16 by 20 canvas i actually have a I do got a frame that can uh, fit it, but I think I got cardboard on the back of it, so that would be just a pain in the butt to try to, try to um, put it on here. But I do have one um, on there. I I gotta um, let it dry for a while because it's got plenty of glycerin all over the place on it. But I think we did all right with it. I think I think it's okay. Um, you know, you guys let me know what, what do you what do you think. Um, because of the light situation we got going on here, you guys really don't see the extensive the detail of the wood grain, which is in here. You see everything. You see the windows. You see all of that. You just don't see it. It's a little blurred. Um, but when I take a picture, hopefully you you guys get to, get to see it. You see the wood grain underneath here. 
you see it all over the place but it's it's been um traced in black but you obviously with paint you don't see the black borders or anything all the time you really see the black really is in the wood panel or wood yeah the paneling of the wood you even see it in the shadow in here okay so but this is it this is what's been um you know glazed and and whatnot uh i do like the different roof there um a little crazy looking different definitely different um for the roof uh once again you got the you got the yeah you know mr ef4 back there um you know getting ready to really handle the situation in head um but yep yeah, this is it covered bridge um while it lasts that's the title of this i like that good while it lasted i think i'll tell it like that okay yep i definitely will i will definitely sign it you know i tell you people especially ladies they just got that that eye for detail <coughs> she really knows how to way to end the ramble i tell you she's got 15 more minutes to harass me so i guess you know that's all good i got a marker pen um i'll, I'll put the signature somewhere i'll put it around here somewhere actually it's a what is it an acrylic pen there all right all right are you happy now oh here we go hey judy how are you what is that little bit of white above the roof uh you're talking about that little piece right there that's called a mistake but we'll handle that we will handle that we will handle that We'll borrow some out of here. We'll just kind of put it up here. Instant white be gone. Let's see here. As I'm looking at it still, I'm looking, I'm glancing over it. I think we're still we're okay we're a done deal here all right that's one thing about glycerin if you catch a mistake if something is not quite right you know you can handle it there it's good to see you um uh judy oh even bruce said sign it See, I was gonna handle all that blame to uh to to uh, Jessica, but Bruce said it before her. No, near the tree on the left, near the tree on the left. Near if you're talking about this area here. That would be the sky. That, not really white. It is a blue gray. Um, you weren't here from the beginning, so I'll explain this. Um, I did the clouds. The clouds were done but I put too much glycerin and too little paint so the clouds ran and all of this was all streaks and watch the, catch the beginning of the video and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about none, none of this was here okay so the pattern that I seen from the streaks turned into the EF4 tornado um, but yeah but that was actually a more of a um, a blue bluish uh, actually more of a gray he was all black and white back there because i wanted more of a drab type of sky well he's really drab now you got a tornado about to take everything away but um i just wanted a, a more of a drab sky nothing's really super bright and gaudy bright all right the brightest thing on here would be the water lines on this particular uh painting 
but yeah, that's what that that's what that is back there. It's just nothing but clear or well, sky back there. That's all. Okay. Oh, uh, and I really can't really deaden that and dull it more because they just blend more into this deep dark color here so you need something for contrast to show that this guy is there and he's a lot closer than you think all right so but that's that's what that is um but yeah it's a blue gray here okay it appears white but it is it, this is white here so you can see the difference in the color okay um what else yeah but i i thank you for that question i love to uh answer people's question anybody else because uh, we're, we're pretty much done here so um if you type in your your um oh man is my coffee cold Mm. Mm. Drat is cold. Yuck. Looks like a white rainbow. <laughs> I kind of see what you're talking about since it's going, it appears to be going in that direction. So I kind of see what you're talking about. You're welcome, Travel Dreamer. What kind of advisory do we have here? Yeah, wind chill warning, okay. That's nothing. All right. It's like three degrees outside. We know it's a wind chill. All right, guys, if you don't have anything else, um, I shall see you when I see you. I don't know if it'll be later on today. I think people got some a few things going on. And like I say, I gotta get in the truck and take care of some things. Yes, I will warm up my coffee before I head out the door. Uh, yeah, I think I'm done right here. I'm done for the day. Uh, it's going on 3:21. I'll I'll watch you, um, Jessica. I won't be able to reply, but I'll watch you when you go live. Um. Like I say, I won't be able to reply until I get back to the house if you're still on or not. But I got a few things I do got to take care of and, and put back together. Um, I had an event I had to go to last night. So late. It ended late. So I got to put all my equipment back together. Oh, what fun. So, all right. I think I'm done here rambling and running my mouth. Uh, we're at one hour and 50 minutes, of course. Of course it is. Later on, I'll take a picture of this, you know, thumbnail, and I'll post it on Instagram and Facebook and all that. Happy horse pucky. All right. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so very much. Thank you for the thumbs up. I appreciate that too. Until next time. Peace.